over the Trump. Yeah, yeah but this yesterday was shut down, right? That man need to go. Good, tell him. So you do you think it will be, we should build up this uh, wall or not? I think he's just making, he just, he just want to be a fool. He is a fool and he, everything that he operates is foolish. So you so mean we don't need this uh, wall, right? Huh? It was about wall. The, the government didn't give money but to But he wall. supposed to get a wall. If they had a wall, he wouldn't have been in this country. His parents wouldn't have been in this country if they had a wall. If they had the, the walls of Jericho wrong, he wouldn't have been here. He would have still been in, in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh. What do you think about yesterday? You know, what was shut down. Government was shut down, right? What do you uh -huh. think about this? About what? Uh, should we build up wall or no? Nah, let the people live the way they're supposed to live. You know what I mean? Uh, but I didn't build a wall around his, him and his family. So, can't do that. Let the people come and decide to live at free will, especially if God created mankind. Mankind, come on, you so know what it's about. Need, uh, people can just come to the United States without border, without visa. Why, but people, uh, when pe people go to uh, by the fly, right? Um, well, by the sea, they should to buy visa, give all this, all this, they just can come and come well, in. Well, I think, I mean, if you allow people to come in, I'm quite sure you could screen them. But still, they should have the right to be able to travel to go without, you know what I mean, any problems. I guess coming in America is a good to screen the people. I mean, my family came here as immigrants. I'm from an immigrant descendant, just like he is. So if they have an opportunity, like he gave his family an opportunity, and they gave their family an opportunity, why shouldn't they have that opportunity? But building the wall, I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think we could deal with it. Accordingly. So, but your, your your parents, my parents, when they came, they uh, we take a visa, right? We took right. a visa, and we, we don't just run through Mexico, right? No, nah, you just don't run through. You go through accordance. Like everything should work in order. But building a wall is not making an order. See, we need to deal with the order and just sit in and screen in people. Have a shoot, have a shoot, uh, uh, just people to follow order. Yeah, okay. right. That's why we got. That's why we got government. So the government should work together along with the people. If you want them or not, you screen them. It depends. You know what I'm saying? Remember what um, Castro did in Cuba? It's the same way. You know what I'm saying? But he took care of the people. At the end of the day, he's not taking care of the people. He's just trying to just do what you want to do. And I don't think that's fair. Thank you. You're welcome. Since I think about shutdown, what do you think about yesterday? No, was shutdown. Government, right? About oh. wall. What do you think oh. about war? Do you need war or no? Uh, not good, because it happened once before. I was in the military when it happened, and it's pretty scary, you know, when your family has to depend on that, the finances from the government. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm no longer in the military anymore, but I remember when they tried to do that under President Obama because uh, they didn't want to come to an agreement. Uh, when he was president, it was a scary. It was a very scary moment. And yeah. So do, do you think do uh, uh, should we get money for ball or we don't need this ball? What's your opinion? Because as well, all this I case, you, Trump say, say we need the you money. Know, you yeah. know, my personal opinion is Trump. Most of his businesses have been done offshore, overseas, and by migrant workers for him. So for him to now all of a sudden want to build a wall. Personally, I don't really feel he wants to build it, but I think because of the, what the party he stands for, this is what they want. I, I feel like he's just going along with the party because most of Trump businesses has been done through migrant workers and people from foreign countries. And now all of a sudden, now he wants to keep them out. I think I, I really, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with him, and I really don't believe it's what he wants to do. But I, I think, but you, I feel he's a coward. Wall or against war. What's your opinion? Against war? Yeah, yeah. To, should we build war or well, not? I don't think we should because, I mean, I feel like we're, we're keeping off the people that do a lot of the work that a lot of Americans don't even want to do anymore. A lot of the work that we don't want to do, they say a lot of the migrant workers, when they come into the country, a lot of them do certain so should we jobs. like invite, let's like slaves or who, what, what, what these people what like say, second class? Because we have documents, right? People came, they don't yeah. have documents. So it's look like we invite people who you know, we can use it for nothing, right? For penny. No, I don't. I think we should we should invite. To me, you know, he wants to invite certain people that look a certain particular 
a certain particular uh, race or origin. I mean, his wife is is a foreign immigrant, so for him to not want immigrants in. All, all, uh, okay, these people they have all documents. Now we speak about people who want to come without documents, without visa, just run in. Well, I think I think we should give them a chance to get documents and visas because if these people are willing to walk thousands of miles, obviously it's not better in their country. Else they wouldn't try to come over here to to have a better way of life. So I don't think people would leave somewhere if they're doing well in their country. I think for them to walk thousands of miles with children and, and all they have on their back, there must be something going on over in their country that's not that's not well and they want to try a better way of life. So I think we should give them an opportunity to get a visa. Uh, how many how much how many people we should invite? Five hundred, five thousand, five millions, fifty millions? Mm. Because if you don't have ball more, you know, in, in India we have billion people, in China we have billion people. How, how many people we should allow to come to the United States? Well, I know, um, being like I said, I used to be in the military and um, overseas, you can't just go to a country, you have to show that you can take care of yourself. And I think we can maybe do it on that type of merit, the same way they do in other countries. Like if I were to go to Germany right now, I have to show that I can take care of myself and they're not, I'm not going to be on their welfare system and maybe we should give them a trial period the same thing as other countries do we'll give you a trial period to get it together that we know that you'll be able to take care of yourself and we're not going to fall on, um, as far as on the welfare system I think we could do it under the same merit yeah but how we prevent these people because uh, why Trump want to build up this wall because we he want to stop these people because on the law right now people just came to the United States mm -hmm. They apply to benefits, Medicare, got everything for free, and we can do nothing because it's the law. Six months, they should be, they should go to court. If they don't show up, that's it. They come here. How we should, without war, how we can prevent this? Mm, that is a good question. I think that's something that would, personally, I'm, I don't know exactly what the answer is, but I think that is definitely something that has to be talked about with all parties as far as what the best solution is. I can't say what the best solution is, but as far as just saying, well, no one can come in, there has to be some type of a solution versus saying all or nothing at all. So what it is, I'm not exactly sure, but I think there's got to be a better solution. Cool, thank you. Thank wow. you. Who else? Yeah, say something. We think about uh, the, the government, was sh sh you know, as it happens, about war. What do you think? Do we need the war or no? Do we need war? Yeah, no. Oh, nah, we don't need no war, man. I'm love, man. L-O-V-E. Yeah, but how we should stop this? Well, how many people we can uh, allow to be in the United States? We, don't, we, we shouldn't be trying to control nothing we can't control, man. I'm the king of love. Drop Top TV. Tune into the Drop Top TV network. We're going to have some live things going on. We're in a brick right now. Um, a lot of love to BME. They just had the BME TV show. Um, the Toys for Tots, the Toy Drive, they gave back to the youth. Um, it's about the youth, about the babies, man. And um, Yeah, but what's your decision? How many people we can invite or, or how we should, we should some, you know, or we can invite everybody. So we can invite six billion people, come in. If it's all with the love, man. Love.